What's up everyone? So today I am gonna install my Yak Attack Lever Lock Anchor Trolley HD. HD stands for heavy duty. Now the regular version, I think the only difference between the HD version and the regular is the backing plates that come with it. So the backing plates give it a little bit more of a secure hold. Oh yeah? So whenever you get your kit, check it, make sure everything's there. You got uh, your backing plates, um, you got your pad hooks, you got the, the pulleys, um, the trolley ring, and then the level lock. There's two pieces here. This just connects onto the back of this. You got your line, all your bolts, and the, the set of instructions. I think for what I want to do, I'm only going to need... Um, the regular kit. I won't need the, the HD stuff, so I, I'm just going to skip doing the, the backing plates. The only tools that I'll need are a 1 8 drill bit and a screwdriver. When you mount the pulleys, you want to make sure you pick a spot at the front and the back of the boat that's out of the way. So with like the, the HD, I have the rod tip protectors in the front. I, I threw a rod in just to make sure that where I chose to mount the one at the front um, is out of the way and won't interfere with uh, where I like to put my rods. So, we're probably going to go about right there, and then I'll pick a spot at the back of the boat as well. Whenever you actually put it on the kit, make sure the, the wheel end is facing the center of the boat. The wheel facing in. All right, so same thing uh, with the back of the boat. Make sure your wheel faces in. I'm kind of using um, the, the center line that kind of runs the whole length of the boat to kind of hide it up. And I'm just gonna put it right above uh, the serial number on the HD. So, looks like a good spot to me. There we go. Next up is the, the line. Woo! And running it through the, the, the little loop here. You just tie an overhand knot in the one end, and then we're going to feed the other end through the first die here. He's watching Thomas the train. Take the free end without the knot, feed it up through the bottom of the, the front pulley, and feed it down through the top of the back pulley. After you go through the back pulley, bring your line up through the, uh, the loop. Make sure that you lined it up correctly so that the, when you pull the knots tight, or the, the line tight, sorry. Um, <laughs> Thank you. That uh, the loop is facing down. Feed it through, you just kind of adjust to where it's the right amount of tension that you want. Um, the instructions mentioned that you want to keep in mind that the, the pad hooks are going to add a little more tension to it. So make sure you take it, take that into consideration. Then you end up with something like this. Then you just got to trim these tag ends off. Then use a lighter to, to burn the, so the ends don't fray up on you. I swear every Christmas I get one every in my family knows I fish so they see these things. I probably got 10 of them laying around in my in my house somewhere. So, nice and clean looking. Looks good. Next up. So, to figure out where to put your actual, like, uh, the level lock itself, I'm usually sitting in the high seat in the back position, so I'm looking for something within reach. I don't want to be having to go. So, I'm, I'm kind of thinking right here's not too bad. Like, hurry up. Right there looks pretty good. So, that looks pretty good right there. So the last thing you have to put on are these 
pad hooks. I'm just going to put two of them on. I'm going to pick kind of like a halfway in between the level lock and the back pulley. And then I'm going to do one in between the level lock and the front pulley. So there we go. All nice and neat. Make sure that the, uh, the little clip is facing down so that way your line tucks under it. I love the, uh, when the anchor loop comes through, it, gets, it goes under. It's nice and smooth like that. All right, so that's it. Um, took about a half hour to install, uh, and that's with you know setting up all the camera gear. Um, really straightforward. The directions were really clear and uh, um, extremely easy to, to install. Um, another great product from Yagatech. So thanks for watching. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.